Okay, now that we've solved our problem of the jelly donut and that mystery object on Mars, I want you to take a second and think about how our understanding of Earth helped us learn about another rocky planet like Mars. If you think about it, it was the studying that we had done on Earth, things like studying about rocks and chemicals that make up those rocks, as well as studying the biology of fungus and making observations about those. Uh, those are the types of things that helped us solve that mystery of what was that object on Mars. Without that knowledge of Earth, we wouldn't have been able to figure out what that object was on Mars. I want you to think about this as we go to our question that we posed yesterday in class of what geological process could have formed the channel on Mars. That's what we're trying to answer over this chapter and over the next few days. What could have possibly formed this channel that I see on my screen here? I have several different uh, channels flowing into one larger one, and then that empties out into a big open area. We want to know what process could have formed that channel. And yesterday, we looked at a lot of different pieces of evidence from Earth. We looked at aerial images of flowing water and flowing lava. You should have made some observations yesterday about how the channels made by flowing water were much thinner or narrower. They had long winds and curves throughout them, and they tended to, they seemed to carve deeper into the uh, rock than the ones of flowing lava. While our channels that were made out of flowing lava were typically wider, they were a lot straighter with less curves and winds and bends. And at the end of them, they started to actually kind of spread out and become wider. So we saw these observations, we saw the difference between our flowing water and our flowing lava and how it affects a channel. And now we're gonna try and apply that to our question from yesterday. So your exit ticket today is try and use the evidence that you see to support one of the two possible claims. Claim one for this question of what geological process could have formed the channel on Mars is that flowing water formed the channel on Mars. Claim two is that flowing lava formed the channel on Mars. What I want you to do below is actually support one of these claims with evidence. Now, it doesn't really matter right now if you are correct or not. What we're trying to do is actually use some evidence to build an argument that supports the claim that you think is true. You may also at this point be unsure about which claim you think is true. If that's the case, tell me why. What piece of evidence makes you think it could be formed by water? What piece of evidence makes you think it could be formed by lava? And that would be enough to tell me why you're unsure. If you think one of these claims is true, tell me what piece of evidence you think is strongest in supporting your claim. You're then gonna go ahead and answer right below that, just multiple choice. What do you think, claim one, claim two, or unsure? But make sure before you do that, you have your evidence written above because that is going to be the biggest part of your exit ticket today. You can go ahead and do that now. And then don't forget to take the really quick poll question at the end of this exit ticket and make sure you click submit.